back. So uh, yes, words. I, I, I'm just making the the reference before. Uh, I like words. I, I'm a huge fan of words. I have the best words, whatever. Right. Uh, my my argument in favor of context being important. Uh, I don't know if you had you recalled or m maybe uh, you didn't know about the uh, the Tana Mongo thing with iDubs TV. Um, his use of the N-word and her being all uh, spastic about that. Being uh, just a whiner, a complainer, being like, oh, you can't say the N-word and context is never important and because you said it then that's bad and you should feel bad and all that um where <laughs> she's just a complete hypocrite because uh, you are an awful and terrible person and nothing good will ever happen to you well like she is had what already... i would say if that were any true now see context yeah she had already been caught on multiple occasions whether it was vines or or YouTube, whatchevers, uh, Instagram, going on Twitter, saying uh, effing n-word, things like that. And So uh, basically, she got Michael Richard. <laughs> yeah, I, I adore that story, because it makes him seem so much crazier than... than the, he actually is. Then, well, then, then the character. That it seemed like it was a story taken way out of context. But was he just absolutely crazy or drunk at the time? I think it was just a couple of people who just really. Like when Mel Gibson went off on a tangent after he got pulled over by cops and started yelling about Jews. Anti-Semitic <laughs> comments. Yeah. <laughs> well, not everyone freaked out about it. I mean, they were a bit concerned. Yeah. And this guy was just like, effing N words in the audience, and and then I remember yelling. I remember reading some article on the internet somewhere about a play that was shut down because the play that they were showing there was one person in the audience who was yelling just the most awful, nasty, hateful, <laughs> slanderous things about, uh, well, the gay community, okay. if you'll forgive the terminology here, and one of the play's actors dropped character, dropped the act, dropped everything, and demanded that this jackass stop insulting, you know, the actors and actresses in general. So and this he, he broke character and, and just went let, off on this. Let me finish. The jerkass in question promptly responded, yeah, what are you going to do about it? And then the fight happened. <laughs> So, yes, this play, the <laughs> entire production, was shut down by police. I don't know if it's still in place or not. It was shut down and everything because this guy was sticking up for, you know, his co-workers, for other people, for, you know, just overall, I would say, human decency. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not advocating the fact that if somebody is just being a... Uh, nasty insulting bastard that you need to us physically assault them or even verbally assault them but at the same time there comes a point where you just have to look at the situation and ask yourself how much of this am I willing to put up listening to before either I myself act upon it or get somebody who will yeah it, I mean it's, it's, it's like you know I ain't gay but if someone was was shouting obscenities about whichever or folks or whatever at a production that I was involved, is you gonna hit them? Okay, yeah, yeah, I would probably have done the same thing. Dude, <laughs> I would have murdered the guy if he said, "What are you gonna do about it?" You are a <laughs> drunken asshole using some of the nastiest swear words in a public setting. Was the Just guy actually purely... drunk? Because there's people who have said worse not being drunk. I can only assume he was drunk, because if he wasn't drunk, that makes the situation far worse for the guy who started screaming these things, because that would mean that his mind was halfway there when he was making these comments. Yeah. <laughs> so, which do you think he's going to plead for in court? <laughs> plead insanity? <sighs> Is it sad that that might actually work? Well, it would. Like, oh, I had a lapse in judgment, and I, I wasn't thinking, or, oh, I had a migraine, and I couldn't think straight. That, 
He looked at you crossways. Yeah. They'll they'll go and let people go free for the dumbest reasons. Well, that that's just a whole nother topic. I think maybe we should just back off of here because. So the N word, yeah. Um. Uh, well, yeah. There's a there's a nice yeah, safe nice segue. segue. Yes. Uh. Yeah. Uh, the context is important. Hey. Let, hey. Just presents. There's, giving presents to kids. Oh, hey. Come on. Let, you let's get just. Five presents. Three. Three. Three okay. kids. Three presents. Wow. Are they just having a good, a, a gay old time. If you don't mind me saying. It means happy. Back context. in the back in the fifties and sixties, it meant happy. We have context. Look at, look at the original Flintstones the, theme song. Have a gay old time. Uh, the uh, the the Christmas carols. Uh, deck the halls with boughs of holly. Tis a season to be jolly. Now 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 we don our gay apparel. Well, hey, depending on what ugly sweater you wear. Yeah. <laughs> well, like gay isn't happy. Right. But, yeah. You know. Uh, Something that seems to be in short supply <laughs> in most places these days. Well, of course, this is a bundle of sticks, guys. Come on. Don't be, like... It, um, this are, is the thing. Are, are we thing. sure we're not going to get... We're fine. Look, like, okay. because I got the context on my side here. All right? Okay, That's a bundle sure, of sticks. Sure. I'm not using it as like a derogatory term towards somebody else. Yes, I know that, and I hope that all the lovely people on are watching on YouTube know that, but... Are the copy bots gonna know that? Uh, they, uh, the copy bots don't know anything. They're bots. They're just scanning for music. Meh. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we could say whatever swear words we want, and they, the copy bots probably wouldn't, you know, take a second glance at not it. Not the copy bots, but I mean, you know, the flags, whatever, right? Uh, oh yes, because our show is definitely the for the children. Context. 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 Uh, Contact. The whole point, though, is uh, that uh, George Carlin had said, and this is what I agree with, there are no bad words, only bad intentions. I can definitely agree with that statement. Like, how you can use that F word to go and, and just blast a whole community of people is completely entirely different from uh, I mean yes it's a bundle of sticks it's also a cigarette in British slang yeah. yes <laughs> so it's like yeah <laughs> you're, you're smoking a wow. that's, that's, that's what that was and you know British in England cigar and a waffle yeah no pipe and, a a, pipe and a grape no <laughs> bong and a blintz no? Well, I see there's no pleasing you. There's no pleasing you. Excuse me. Can I paint as you who gold? It's kind, kind of, of my, my thing. How about no? Crazy, Crazy Dutch, Dutch bastard. bastard. So, is this like hard mode now? Does he have like rocket boosters on it? Or did we not beat him? It, oh, I beat him before as a walrus. Okay. And then he's like, "Oh shit! I really should. Fl I really should raise somebody again on my own size." So this is where it gets obnoxious because depending on, well, how far ahead you are, will depend on how much he just rockets by you. Oh, rubber band AI, like Mario. Very, Kart. very much so. Uh. So you actually have to pace yourself to make him go slower. Yes and no. Damn it. Fuck. See? God. You gonna lose a life for that now? No, just <laughs> it just resets it back to the end of the or start of the race course, so close. I was within like Five tenths of a second behind you, you fat bastard. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you know what? You're fucked. So you just lost the shoes there? Well, yes, because I hit the water. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> this is like a. Is this the second to last, or is this the last puzzle piece, Jiggy? Second to the last. Okay, okay. I'm trying to remember where that last one is. Oh, right, I still have to find the Jinjo. Okay. Which 
I recall is easy enough. I remember where I left it now. So, I'm kind of looking forward to uh, Mario, Kate, Mario, Kart, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Mario Kart? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Starring Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen? No, thanks. <laughs> What you don't like? You don't like the thought of all the Mario characters getting drunk and just going out go kart racing? Yeah, I'd, I'd need the DLC where I go and get my my friend to overdose. Oof. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, and there we go. Do I've lost again? Take my other medal. <laughs> <laughs> Take all my medals. <laughs> I don't deserve them. <laughs> this one's chocolate wrapped. Where's my chocolate? You stole my only food. Now, now I'm, I'm gonna, gonna starve. starve. Just the way that it, the scene pans down towards his stomach, and it's just disgusting and revolting. Like, uh, gosh, like the old Ren and Stim Okay, I thought that dude was on fire. Straight <laughs> up. Well, he's a walrus. If he were to ever catch fire, he would not go out. Yeah, yeah, all that oil and whatever. Oh, hey! What timing. Indeed. So, I'm just going to burn myself to death, and we will see you <laughs> next time on We Play. Next time on We Play! Woo!